Hi, welcome back. It's Johnny from Green Top Landscapes. If you could bring you those uh, video diaries, we've uh, completed now in uh, Chepstow the projects where we started just before Christmas, and we had some really bad weather for Christmas. It was just raining and raining and raining, and it didn't help at all. And uh, it probably went on a little bit longer than what we expected, but we were here every day, apart from obviously the Christmas period. But what we we had to do here was basically the brief was to create a split level steps going up to that level and uh, the client kindly had dug most of it out Richard had so um, we got the sub basin we used I think four and a half five ton of sub basin here then we've got the uh, the paving on the top and we've used in this case the, the uh, candle grey it's a natural Indian sandstone in four four different sizes in order to make this look a little bit wider we've made the steps 1.8 meters wide and what we've done we've used an, uh, a local stone to give it a bit of contrast on the step and um, that's the risers and they're at 200 and I think 15 mil each one and uh, we've done the same there we've we've closed that piece up a little bit because they're gonna have a veg garden up there and they didn't want big steps going through there we've got a rendered finish on the wall and as you can see we've put this drip bead going all the way around and behind the drip bead at the base you can see that we've rendered it so it looks nice and smooth. Um, on top of the coping stones of the wall we've used the Indian sandstone in a 2 by one going round and we've continued it down the side there and the reason being there's a continuation of this raised bed that they're going to create this vegetable area in there. If you stand back from this side now John We've rendered the wall, the existing wall there, and we've put a little six inch coping stone again to match them with a candle of grey, and it all comes together quite well. The idea eventually, I believe that the client's going to, we're going to maybe has to be quoted to put a resin finish in this area over this existing concrete. They don't want to take it up because obviously the expense, so we're going to have a, a, a bounded gravel finish on there. If you look from this side up here, we've put a feather edge fence and um, on each panel, you've introduced the post into the garden using a four by four with a little finial and a cap on the top, and we've got a rock border on the bottom. On each panel, we've alternated the boards, which gives it a little bit of contrast all the way up. So you don't just see a large expanse of feather edge fencing. So that's it for now. We've finished on this project, unless we get asked to come back to do some uh, remedial work or um, some extra work they may need. So if you need any advice, go to the website, which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk or you can give Alison a ring in the office on 01633 896 007. Oh yeah, by the way, Happy New Year.